Gigacasting. Is Elon Musk a genius? Toyota now thinks so. We finally figured it out. And I think it's, it's the way that all electric cars in the future will ultimately be made. It's the right way to, right way to do things. Hey everyone, welcome back to E0, where we talk about all things electric vehicles. In today's video, we're going to explain what gigacasting is, how it works, and why it's such a big deal for the automotive industry right now. Well, gigacasting is a breakthrough manufacturing technique pioneered by Tesla. It involves the use of high-pressure aluminum die-casting machines, known as gigapresses, to manufacture large single pieces of vehicle underbodies, such as the rear and front chassis. These gigapresses are capable of producing aluminum parts much larger than those traditionally used in auto manufacturing. Now, you might be wondering, why is this so special? Don't cars already have underbodies? Well, yes, they do, but they are usually made of hundreds of smaller parts that are welded or bolted together. This process is complex, time-consuming, expensive, and wasteful. It also adds a lot of weight and reduces the strength and rigidity of the car. Gigacasting solves these problems by creating a single-piece structure that replaces all those smaller parts. This simplifies production and reduces costs and enhances efficiency. It also makes the car lighter, stronger, safer, and more energy efficient. And it allows for more design flexibility and innovation, as well as easier integration of battery packs and other components. So how does gigacasting work? Well, it starts with a giant machine called a gigapress. These machines are made by an Italian company called IDRA Group, and they are the largest high-pressure die-casting machines in the world. They have a clamping force of up to 61,000 kilonewtons, which is equivalent to 6,200 tons or 13 million pounds. That's enough to lift 10 Boeing 747s. And it's not just at the product level a better product, um, but in the factory, it's a massive simplification. The Gigapress works by melting aluminum in a furnace and then injecting it into a steel mold under high pressure. The mold has the shape of the desired part, such as the rear or front chassis of the car. The aluminum fills the mold and solidifies in seconds. Then the mold opens and the part is ejected. The whole process takes less than 10 minutes and produces a part that weighs about 300 kilograms or 660 pounds. Tesla has installed several gigapresses at its factories in the US, China, and Germany. The company uses them to make its Model Y crossover SUV, Cybertruck pickup truck, and semi-truck. Tesla claims that gigacasting can reduce the weight of its vehicles by up to 40% and the number of parts by up to 80%. But Tesla is not the only automaker interested in gigacasting. Several other major players in the industry are also exploring or implementing this technique, with Toyota being the first to swallow the bullet and Ford, Volkswagen, Audi, and Porsche following suit. They see gigacasting as a way to compete with Tesla and to make their own electric vehicles more attractive and affordable. Let's take a look at some of them. Toyota Toyota is the first major automaker to follow Tesla's example in adopting the gigacasting technique. They've announced that they will use the technology as part of its strategy to improve the performance and lower the cost of its future electric vehicles. In a technical briefing session held on June 13, 2023, Toyota unveiled its new EV platform that will use three main components made of aluminum die casting, front, center, and rear. Toyota said that this approach will help eliminate dozens of sheet metal parts from assembly and reduce waste. Toyota also said it will introduce its first EV based on the new platform in 2026 under the Lexus brand. The Japanese automaker has ordered six gigapresses from IDRA. Toyota plans to use them for its upcoming electric vehicles, starting with the BZ4X SUV in 2023. Ford The American company has partnered with HP to develop a 3D-printed metal gigacasting process that can create complex shapes and structures with less waste and more precision. Ford plans to use this process for its F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck and other future models. Ford believes that gigacasting will enable it to make more innovative and efficient vehicles that can compete with Tesla. Volkswagen The German conglomerate has invested in a startup called Constellium that specializes in aluminum gigacasting. Volkswagen aims to use this technology for its ID family of electric vehicles, as well as for its Audi and Porsche brands. Volkswagen expects that gigacasting will allow it to make lighter and stronger vehicles that can offer better range and performance. These are just some of the examples of how other car companies are chasing Tesla's gigacasting strategy. 
There are many more in the works, especially in China, where several local automakers are also adopting this technique. It seems that gigacasting is becoming a trend in the automotive industry, and one that is here to stay. I mean, I really think that, that long term, in any cars that do not uh, take this architecture will not be competitive. Why did everyone doubt Elon and Tesla for banking on gigacasting in the first place? Well, first of all, gigacasting is a very new and unproven technology in the automotive industry. It's never been done before at such a large scale and with such complex parts. Many experts and analysts were skeptical about whether Tesla could pull it off and whether it would actually deliver the benefits they claimed. Secondly, gigacasting also comes with some significant challenges and drawbacks that cannot be ignored. For example, gigacasting requires massive machines that take up a lot of space and consume a lot of energy. It also requires a lot of investment and expertise to set up and operate, and it may not be suitable for every vehicle model or every factory layout. Plus, gigacasting also raises some concerns about the repairability and recyclability of the vehicles. Since the parts are so large and integrated, any damage or defect could mean replacing the whole part instead of just a small section. This could increase the cost and complexity of repairs and maintenance. And since the parts are made of aluminum, which is more difficult to recycle than steel, it could also pose some environmental issues. Is gigacasting a game changer? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some people think that gigacasting is a revolutionary innovation that will give Tesla and other adopters a huge competitive edge over their rivals. They believe that gigacasting will enable them to make better, cheaper, and more sustainable electric vehicles that will dominate the market. Others think that gigacasting is a risky gamble that may not pay off in the long run. They also point out that gigacasting is not the only way to make electric vehicles lighter and more efficient. There are other alternatives, such as using different materials, designs, or techniques. The truth is probably somewhere in between. Gigacasting is not a magic bullet that will solve all the problems of electric vehicle manufacturing. It has its pros and cons, its opportunities and challenges, its supporters and critics. But it is also not a fad that will fade away soon. It will force other automakers to rethink their strategies and adapt to the changing landscape. This was a major breakthrough. Um, we're doing the same for cars. Uh, so that's a, you know, a great achievement of our materials team. The future of gigacasting? By all means, gigacasting isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Gigacasting can only improve with time as more automakers adopt this technique and overcome the challenges and limitations that it currently faces. Some of the reasons why gigacasting is here to stay are, gigacasting can reduce the number of parts and welds in a vehicle body which simplifies production, reduces costs, and enhances efficiency. Gigacasting can improve the structural strength and rigidity of the vehicle, which can improve safety and performance. By creating a single piece of metal that spans across the entire underbody, gigacasting can increase the torsional stiffness and durability of the vehicle, which can prevent deformation or damage in the case of collision or impact. It can also improve the handling and stability of the vehicle, as well as reduce noise and vibration. Gigacasting can promote the practice of top-down construction, where components are put together from bottom up. This speeds up assembly, boosts quality, and even makes maintenance and repair much easier. Gigacasting can enable more flexibility and innovation in vehicle design, especially for electric vehicles. Automakers can create more spacious and modular interiors, as well as integrate battery packs and other components more efficiently. Gigacasting is a more sustainable technique as it reduces the amount of material waste and energy consumption during production. It also enables the use of recycled aluminum, which reduces the environmental impact of mining and refining new metal. As gigacasting technology evolves and becomes more widely available, it can potentially overcome some of the challenges and limitations it faces. With proper optimization, gigacasting can also have applications in other industries besides automotive, such as aerospace, construction, or defense. Therefore, gigacasting is here to stay and will only improve with time. And that's what makes gigacasting so interesting and exciting. It shows us how innovation can transform an industry and how competition can drive progress. It also shows us how Elon Musk and Tesla are always pushing the boundaries of what's possible and challenging the status quo. That brings us to the end of this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See ya!